G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here and today we're looking at chroma keying. Chroma keying is the process of removing a color like this green screen behind me so that it can be replaced with other content and I can overlay my camera onto different inputs. So this could be things like camera footage, videos, images, or I can even place myself on a virtual set. Now I'm currently sitting in the set that we use for the vMix Funtime live show. So we usually add a nice nature landscape image as the backdrop like this or this or this or this. So in order to create a good chroma key, there are a, quite a few factors that you'll need to consider. Now it's important to have even coloring and lighting behind you uh, and not to have your subject really close to the green screen so it's going to create shadows. Now those are some really basic things. Uh, we're not experts at creating green screen studios. So I would definitely recommend getting on YouTube or Google and checking out some walkthrough tutorials on how to create a green screen studio. So now we're going to go through the steps on how to create a chroma key in vMix. So what you need to do is you'll need to go into the settings of the input. So this is the camera that we want to use, the one in front of us with the green behind us. So I'm just going to go into the settings and then go to the color key section. Now this is where you can create the chroma key. So I'm going to select the color key here and that's going to give us the ability to select what color we want to remove. So I'm going to use the eyedropper here and select a green from my backdrop. Now if you want a good auto chroma key, I would recommend selecting the number two preset here. So that's going to give you a good chroma key if you've got some decent lighting and a good set. Uh, but you can also fine tune it by using these sliders here for chroma key and the chroma key filter as well. Now if you wanted to adjust the anti-aliasing, you can do that from this section. But usually if you select number two here, you'll get a pretty good chroma key. All right, so now I can go back to my production. As you can see, I have completely removed the green screen background and I'm ready to start overlaying myself into different locations. Now typically for our live show, what we like to do is overlay ourselves using the input multi-view. So I can create an input and then add multiple layers to it. So I can add a backdrop and I can add myself onto it. So I'm gonna show you how to set up that now. So I can go to add input or I can click this little button next to it and I'm going to create a blank input. And that's going to create a color input here, which is just going to be a blank input in vMix. Then I can go ahead and click the settings and then go to multi view. This is where I can add different layers to this blank input. So I'm going to select background. So this is the image that we've already loaded. Uh, and then I'm going to select camera one, which is the one we've chroma keyed. And I'm going to set this up. So here I am now. So I'm right in front of this awesome waterfall background. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is to blur your background a little bit. Um, sometimes you'll see the picture which is as sharp or sharper than the actual camera. So make sure that you blur your background a little bit so you kind of stand out from it. Um, so yeah, that's how we set up our production. So we also add other layers to have things in the top corners uh, as well. So you can use a blank input and then add all these different layers to it. Now, if you wanted to, you could also use the overlay channels in vMix to overlay your chroma keyed uh, image here. So for example, I could put myself in the bottom corner if I was say doing a tutorial. Uh, for example, if I had a video like this, I could talk over the top of it and you know, I could be explaining things. Um, so yeah, that's something you can do with the overlay channels. And you can also use it with the virtual sets in vMix. So if I go to add input and I go to the virtual set section, I can select a virtual set that we have here click OK, and then I can start using myself in this virtual set. So what I'm going to do is just bring this up here so you can see it a little bit better. And then I've got my virtual set here ready to go. So I've got different options. So I've got screen one, two, and three. So if I wanted to, I can put myself in this talent section here. So what I need to do is go to the virtual set, go to setup, and for the layer, I just need to select talent. Then I can select camera one, like so. So now I am currently in the virtual set. Now what I can do then is I can select it here and I can move myself around a bit. I could use shift to zoom in and zoom out just a bit like so. Now I can also do this from the layer as well. So if I go into the layers here, go to multi view, select the camera layer, I can position it, move it around if I wanted to from here. Uh, I could also do it from the original camera, but if you wanna be using it in different locations, resizing the camera here will resize it in any other multi-view that you might have as well. So that might not be the best option. Um, so here I am currently sitting in the, in the set and then I could go ahead and make changes to you know, the other screens, add the hummingbird here and add different things to um, the different screens if I wanted to. So that's how you could add a chroma key image to a virtual set. 
So if you do have any questions about vMix or chroma keying or adding layers to your inputs, feel free to send us through an email via the contact page on vmix.com. Now it's really hard to answer technical questions via YouTube comments because we don't know your setup, we don't know how you got your green screen set up and that type of thing. So it's best to send us an email. That way if we need to, you can send through some footage to show us what it looks like so we can give you an idea on how to potentially fix it. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.